Mike Laporte back with you on the Rural Radio Network. We are reporting uh, from the Cattle Industry Convention going on uh, in San Antonio. And uh, with us, uh, Marvin Kokash, who's Senior Vice President of Industry Member Services. Uh, did I get that close? I can't read my own writing here with uh, NCB. No, you absolutely got it right. So tell us about, you're hot and heavy here at the convention and a lot of stuff going on, and uh, tell us, it's a big meeting uh, every year, I'm sure, but uh, is uh, San Antonio draw more than usual? Absolutely. It's one of our favorite cities. We actually are are on record pace. Uh, As of last night, we were uh, right about 7,000 pre-registrations. Our overall record we set in Nashville last year at 8,200 people, and... uh, we, uh, we, we expect that kind of crowd. Actually, the rain here in Texas yesterday, uh, you know, earlier in the week helped us out. And uh, so I think folks are going to say, hey, let's uh, head on down to San Antonio and enjoy the show. Uh, as far as uh, the kinds of opportunities at convention, uh, people that come, I'm sure, that uh, are really uh, aware of that. But uh, maybe those that don't, uh, don't realize the kinds of things that uh, take place. Uh, tell us uh, about some of the main elements. You know, what? one of the big things that, that people really love is it, at our convention is our trade show. We have a record Uh, setting trade show. We have 360 exhibitors. So really anybody who sells into the livestock business, they are here. And not only they are here, they bring their senior most people, they bring their their experts, whether if it's a farm equipment company, they'll bring their technical expert for skid loaders or round balers or tractors that, that sell into the market. And also animal health companies, cattle handling equipment companies, uh, our trade show is 6.6 acres. Um, all the farmers and ranchers that are listening out there, they know what 6.6, how big 6.6 acres is. So it's a big show. And I was looking at uh, the uh, show, uh, very big, and, uh, and every year it's a highlight. Uh, but it seems like maybe it, uh, I don't know, do you set records there every year? You know what, we have the last few years, obviously it's a good signal of how robust the market is uh, for cattlemen. So people really want to uh, to get into this market and see, you know, put their wares out there. We've, we've got, you know, for example, this year new to our trade show is Kawasaki, Polaris, and Yamaha. They all sell the ATVs and the side-by-side vehicles, and they're all here, and they're excited to be a part of this kind of show. Tell me about uh, the other things that take place, uh, policy, uh, uh, committee action, uh, that sort of thing, a big part of uh, the action is. Absolutely. You know, this is really NCBA's bill. To, you know, we, we've got grassroots membership, and they sit down in these policy meetings, and they talk about, you know, where the, what their priorities are. Is, so we can advance those policies in Washington, D.C., and, you know, obviously hot on our front is anything dealing with taxes and trade and in helping you know build beef demand and so we're going to have some big discussions on the on those specific issues here now uh and all work and no play is probably not a good thing and uh, you've uh, always got some good entertainment life we uh, absolutely you know cattlemen like to work hard and play a little harder so uh um no we've we've got uh, our headliner entertainment friday evening is jeff foxworthy and uh you know, that's just the start of the evening because then we follow him up with the Sleep at the Wheel, which is a big time Texas swing band. And we also have uh, Brett Bear from Fox Business News going to join us for one of our general session speakers. So there is, uh, and then we also have Cattlefax doing a big outlook session here. So there's really something for everyone at our annual meeting. Well, uh, of course, uh, you know, you, you have those kind of those uh, pre uh registration type deals but can people just walk in and come to the meeting absolutely they can go and register on site you know if your folk your listeners say hey we we let's let's get out of western nebraska you know let's head on down to san antonio well come on down we'd love to have them uh, love to have you here and you can register on site so it's it's very simple and if they want more information on our show just you know go to beefusa.org and they can see all the activities going on in our convention this year. What about uh, membership in general? Can you give us uh, some sort of an indication about uh, how we're doing there in terms of uh, actual numbers uh, of folks uh, that are, are belong to NCBA? Absolutely. We're, we're a little bit north of 30,000. We've been growing every year. Uh, we have probably one of the most robust member benefit packages. Uh, not only do you, when you join, you support what we're doing in Washington, D.C. That is foundational. But uh, as a member, you also receive uh, discounts on buying Cabela's gift cards, I know, which is important for folks in rural America. We have a relationship with John Deere and with New Holland. Um, 
to where, and then also with Roper and Stetson. So, and another one we just got done last year is with the Chrysler Corporation with Ram Truck. So our members get benefits to all of those organizations. And again, they can go to our website and check all that out. So it's a great day to join in CBA. Marvin, as far as uh, anything else uh, that we didn't touch on uh, that uh, perhaps we should have said that people need to know about putting conventions on like this, it doesn't uh, just come together. No, it's uh, there's we have a, I have a staff of around five people. This is what they worry about year round. And, you know, to be honest with you, we're actually scheduled for our annual meeting out to 2025. Um, so it's it's a big lift. Um, but we also, our mantra here at this organization is we want to create a once in a lifetime experience every day for that cattleman. We understand that people's most precious commodity is their time. We really respect that. So if they can only come for one day, we're going to make that day amazing. And uh, because we're competing for their time. Now, you told us uh, that you uh, grew up listening to to KRVN. Let's go back to your roots. Uh, Where are they? Uh, Absolutely. And a little old burg of of northeast Colorado and Crook, Colorado. So, uh, you know, I was born in Sydney, Nebraska. So uh, very familiar with KRVN and and, uh, in that western Nebraska, northeast Colorado area. So uh, my families are my family is still out there ranching and cow calf producers. I've got two brother-in-laws that are cattle feeders in uh, northeast Colorado. So, you know, I'm the kind of the black sheep of the family working the big city. So, Marvin, we appreciate the update here. Uh, Marvin Kokash, uh, uh, Senior Vice President uh, of uh, Industry uh, Member Services and and Industry and Member Services uh, with the NCBA. Uh, Visiting with him here at uh, the Cattle Industry Show going on in San Antonio from the meeting for the Rural Radio Network. I'm Michael Laporte.